I'm your odds, Dave Warren in for Craig tonight. Uh, there are the numbers 80, 82 and 83, but little active weather just came through parts of Broward County here. Uh, the live picture looks pretty quiet, but we did track a, a good bit of storms here uh, on real time Doppler developed along 95, stayed north of 595, but now have crossed over the Sawgrass Expressway and continue to move out. Gusty thunderstorms there. Uh, the keys are pretty quiet, but we have a lot of lightning here uh, just north of Key West. They continue uh, to push off to the north, so spotty showers are around tonight and they will continue here. We have these waves of rain coming through two o'clock in the morning. Still a little activity across the area kind of working their way up and we get a little break tomorrow morning and then more showers and storm coming in mainly along the Gulf Coast. But that moisture does make it here uh, to south uh, southeastern Florida. Uh, we do get to, from breaks here and there. So you get some rain, maybe a gusty storm, then a little break and more activity is coming in. This will continue through Saturday and again on Sunday, despite the clouds and the rain. Temperatures climbed into the upper 80s today. Our normal high is 90. It was above that in Homestead, 90 degrees. And Miami hit a temperature of 88 degrees. A little rain cooled air there in Oakland Park at 77. Fort Lauderdale is at 82, and it's into the mid to low 80s here across parts of Miami Dade. Now, Tropical Storm Cristobal, uh, there is the latest number information coming in from the National Hurricane Center. Hurricane Hunters has found that it is intensified a little bit. Storm size, a lot of this is on the eastern side of it. It is forecast to intensify just a bit as it moves north, but like the last tracks, it continues to move north. And now here is the information by Sunday 8 o'clock along the Louisiana coast, but uh, likely seeing uh, dangerous conditions extending well outside of that. Uh, they're all the way to the panhandle, so from Sunday night to Monday, it impacts there. There is a tropical storm warning that is now in effect, and there is the cone. But uh, look at how far east the storm, uh, the storm warnings go. It goes all the way into the Panhandle of Florida, and this likely Sunday night to early Monday. A lot of moisture is with this, and uh, we'll get these waves of rain coming in. Satellite and radar shows the activity there. Uh, and this is around the center of the storm, which is now moving out over the Gulf. But all of that moisture is out ahead of it, and and that'll continue to get pushed into the area. And as the storm moves north, you're getting that tail of moisture that just stays over the area. So we will have more showers and gusty thunderstorms throughout the weekend next week. In fact, a little more sunshine could enhance these showers and storms. That'll continue Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Jim and Lauren, back to you.